I, I have read and I have heard that within his own county, the sheriff is the supreme arbiter of right. the law. Yes. Uh, he can tell the President of the United Woo States to go pound sand if what the President tells him to do is against the law. The people have to support him. Am I on thin ice there or is that, is that straight? The question was, he says that he's heard and read that the sheriff is supreme in the county. Thank you. Uh, I wish it was, but uh, unfortunately I'm not and we're not. If it's unconstitutional, then yes, we probably could say, go stick it or whatever you want to say, I don't care. But that's up to the courts. And like John says, whether you like it or not, that's the way... Our system works. Look, I don't like everything the way our system works, but I'm a citizen of this county and I'm a citizen of North Carolina and the United States. I've got to abide by it, whether we like it or not. Listen, I'm just proud of you for being here. As I said earlier, you're standing up for what you believe in. We don't do enough of that. That's why we're here today. We have allowed stuff to happen that doesn't need to happen. I agree. Yeah. I mean... at my age, did you have school resource officers in your school? No. 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 Because the principals and the teachers had some authority and they took care of business. But let me tell you something, that ain't the way it works today. Everybody gets sued. They're scared to do anything. Why? Because we have allowed it to happen. You didn't stand up for it like you're doing tonight. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And this gentleman over here don't shoot me if I don't look at him. No, sir. No, 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 my, no don't get that. <laughs> I will call you a former boxing freak. I haven't seen you lately. I got a son of scout. He didn't miss a lot of food tonight, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Donnie, I want to tell you, first, I thank you for your service to our country, to, to the county, and everything. Yeah. 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 I want to say something from the heart. I'm not a militant person. Um, people, I, I've been in this area in business about 23 years. I serve my church. I serve my God. I try to help people. I try to pay my taxes. But I keep seeing and hearing all the problems, what we've got. The bigger problem in the country is spiritual problem. Any kind of do with cold, red, and fire. But the thing that bothers me as a man, as a father, I'm not being in the military, sir. I finally got the guts to try. I wanted to fly and told me I'm too old. But I have sworn oath. We all did tonight when we said at the Pledge of Allegiance to that flag. As a man, as an American, I can tell you, it's no offense to you, sir, as a lawyer, but I think it's about half the problem with our country today. I agree. Because you get a left one in there, and they write the laws the way they want. Like when they pass health care, they all of us got to take it. They ain't got to take it. They ain't got to pay taxes. I'm, just, I'm up to here with it. And I, I, no, I'm not going to go post it. All I'm saying is, <laughs> man, there's a line that I have drawn to myself. Do not come to my house and take my gun. I, I, I do not care. What nobody passes, I, anybody can put anything on paper. But as an American, I have kids, I have a future I want to see them have in this country that we have. And I will fight for it, sir. I am a and, patriot. And I'm going to tell you again, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and I want to say to the service people here, thank you for what you've done and what you did. I, I knew that from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be able to be here tonight. And I can tell you that. Okay, that lady right there. You keep saying that's not going to happen. Well, none of us thought that a man who's not even eligible to be president would be installed in the White House. So our problem is you you do have the supreme law of the land. You do have the power. Everybody in this room, Google shares Richard, Matt, and Reese. That's the mistake right there. Yes. No, you can stop. If, if he does a executive order, you do not have to obey it. You need to research the Constitution that's based on nature's law, which is based on God's law. We can protect ourselves as bottom line. Okay, I, I can tell you, that's not, he's not right. In some things, executive orders and stuff, it's still got to be proved unconstitutional. I mean, I'm glad that they think we've got those rights, and, and yes, we have a lot of authority, but I'm telling you folks, it goes back to the court system, our legislators, and you say what's happening, 
it's because we have allowed it to happen. You talk about lawyers, and, and, and we're not the best in the world on lawyers and law enforcement, as you might know. But there again, we've allowed this to happen in our legislature. And, and, and anything that we do, we have allowed it to happen because we don't have to put the people in there that's not doing the job. But we sit back until something like this gets us spurred up. Then we want to come out here and change the world. We can't do it. you got to work on it all the time. You've got to stay involved in it. I want, I want to say one thing. In the Constitution, in the second section, an executive order is only for the executive branch of government. It goes no further. Yeah, it, martial law is different, but an executive order is just for the executive branch. It goes no further. Why do you think THS has been placed under the executive branch? I didn't say that they are under the executive branch. Okay. Uh, get the from it okay, we're going to question right here. Yes, sir. Sir. Let me just make it simple for everybody, because this is what we really want to know. Speak up. It's not complicated. What they want to know is if you're given the directive from an executive order to disarm the people of your county, and nobody thinks that you will. But the question is, they want you to, and the visit was here too, they just simply want you to say, that is absolutely unconstitutional, and we are not going to do that. Is that what you want the to do? The question is, if he gives an executive order telling us to go to pick up your guns, no, we will not go pick up your guns on an executive order. I, we said that from the beginning. We said that from the beginning. And I'm sorry, this little lady right here. If you take an oath to defend the Constitution, that's true. If you take an oath, is your oath the same as the military? We took right. an oath as veterans to protect this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. On the sheriff's oath, what was your oath? You got to have the same type of clause. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Right. 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 States uh, in our oath. I, I'm glad John had it because I, I don't go around reading my oath. I'm just glad to have it. But, uh, uh, but folks, I don't know how many times I can tell you, but I think everybody's worried about these executive orders. That's not going to happen with local law enforcement. Federal, yes, they may try to do something. But that's when we, the people, go to our congressmen, our senators, and get the thing like it's supposed to be. I don't know how many times, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to explain it to you, either, but, you know, we've got to do what it says, but it's got to go through the Constitution. It's got to go to the Supreme Court to be a law before we can do it legally. And we're not going to take a chance on losing our law, uh, church license for that. Yes, sir, you haven't asked one. Yeah.
That is the government that done that. You know, they passed that law. And again, we've emphasized, emphasized that's why it's important for you folks to make sure you stay in contact with your legislative bodies. You know, that law was passed. I, I heard it and saw it. Um, and you're right, but even today, we don't know what the if possession will make any difference. I don't know. We haven't had time to digest all that. All I can tell you is like Sheriff Harrison and I and uh, Sheriff Jones, I don't see any sheriff going house to house taking weapons. Folks, there's more people here than I got damn this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and, you know, I got a population of 122, 130,000. We got 84 deputies. Uh, I don't believe I can do that. Deputize us! And again, let me say thank you. I think he told me to wrap it up, but thank you so much for what you're doing. I, I mean, I can't say enough. I just want you to stay involved. If I don't answer this guy's question, I'm going to let him answer that question. No, I, I just want to say it took a lot of courage for you three guys to be here tonight in the midst Great of an entire. Yeah. Yeah. our rights and you guys were willing to walk right into the middle of what you knew wasn't going to be an over friendly meeting so first <laughs> no i told him it wasn't going to be but about 60 people <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to play that <laughs> card here but well, let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you when joe called me i told him i'd be there i didn't know when we could work it out i'm not going to run and hide folks you didn't those of you in wake county didn't uh, elect me to run and hide, and I can tell you I'm not going to run and hide. And don't intend to. All we're talking about here tonight is the Second Amendment, and I'm going to haul off and die if one more person talks about my Second Amendment rights. I don't have a Second Amendment right. I got a God-given right that's protected by the Second Amendment, right, sure. and we've all got to get that right. thought straight in our minds. That's right. And the final thing is. I'm not one to be going to extremes, but that is part of the Second Amendment right. We have we, we do have militia people here tonight. Since this happens, since the elections, the militias have quadrupled in size in the United States. Why? Because exactly of fear of What's happening? What he's saying in the, is the militia has doubled in size. Let me tell you. Us guys want good guys on our side. As he said, we can't go to every house. We can't do everything in this county. I mean, I've got almost a million people with 357 deputies. It's good to know. And I can tell you, I got shot in 1972. I'd love to have some good guys on my side during that time. So I understand where you're coming from. And stay involved. That's all I can tell you to do is just stay involved. Look at your the elected people that you're elected, including me. And I mean, I'll be the first to tell you, if I'm not doing right, let me know. I answer my phone, I answer my email, some of them I hadn't had a chance to in the last week because of working that double homicide. But let me tell you folks, that's the only way you're going to get something done, is stay on top of it. And, and there's a lot of things I can say, but he's looking at me and say, let's go.